Thank you for joining us for Prayer on Purpose. And this is the program where we come to you live for the next hour and a half, praying for your needs, praying for the nation, praying for the world. And so I encourage you, if you have a need today, call us at 1-800-232-9855. Email in prayer at tct.tv. If you're watching on the Facebook live stream, I encourage you to share this post so that others can be blessed by the messages we're going to hear on this program, as well as uh, submitting your prayer request just as a comment. We'll be monitoring that right here on the set and praying for you. And I'm excited about today's program. We're going to add something uh, a little bit different. Of course, we've been having some uh, great guests uh, every day. I'm going to share with you who's going to be on. But uh, part of the problem with this uh, social distancing guidelines for us, and of course, TV stations are still able to operate. I'm sure people on quarantine and stay-at-home orders would be in a lot worse position if they had, had nothing. But uh, we, we're still subject to uh, social distancing guidelines just like you. So I'm joined by uh, Judge Brown. I'm on six feet to my left here. And, six feet, yes, and, sir. And uh, Kathy Williams, six feet to my right. And so if you've been watching, our uh, guests have been joining us via Skype, calling in, however they can continue to meet with us. But we've been seeing a lot of uh, creative ideas from our churches out out there and uh, we've had drive-in worship services and of course a lot of people are getting their food but <laughs> they can't go into the restaurant but they get get some drive-through uh, service I know even um, many store even the grocery store uh, close to here doesn't have a uh, where you can walk in and shop for groceries anymore, but you can drive up and get a pickup order and, right. and those types of things. So we thought we're going to have a drive-through interview today here on TCT. Right. And so uh, our, our guests uh, are going to be some of our local pastors and uh, Jimmy Rogers is going to be joining us via Skype. He's going to be uh, singing our worship song today. But we're also going to have in a couple minutes Pastor Dana, Dana Gamble from uh, the Synergy Church Network. And uh, he's uh, awaiting uh, socially distant out in our parking lot here. <laughs> so we're going to join him <laughs> via the feed. And then a little bit later uh, on, Pastor Robert DeJournet from uh, St. Ashworth Temple Church of God in Christ is going to be joining us as well. Well, uh, for our drive-through interview, only right here on TCT. And so, thank you uh, for for watching. And I, I know that they're all going to share an uplifting word, an encouraging word, and uh, we're having a little bit of fun with this. But I know a lot of people are uh, dealing with some very serious situations. So, we're just going to uplift your spirits. They're going to have an encouraging word today, and uh, I know Judge is going to be monitoring the emails. And so, we're going to be if you want us to pray with you, uh, email in your request, and uh, uh, Judge, thank you for being on today. Tom, it's always a pleasure to be here on Prayer on Purpose because we love praying for our viewers who are watching every single day here, and we know that Jesus has a great plan for each of your life. I don't care what the enemy has said. Now, you got to be reminded that in 2 Timothy, it talks about that in these last days that perilous times will come. I mean, it, it's, it's no doubt. We all know it, and we're in one of those perilous moments, one of these times that, that feel that way. But also like uh, also in the scripture in Acts chapter 2 where he says, but in these last days, I'm going to pour out my spirit on all flesh and your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Your young men shall see visions. Your old men shall dream dreams. I mean, that is a word from the Lord for us today. And I believe he's going to begin to pour out his spirit in these last days like we've been praying and believing for. And so, Tom, I'm excited about that. And uh, I know being Friday that people are getting ready to go to church this weekend via online, right? So uh, this is new for churches and pastors. And of course, TCT will be on the air. You may be online, but we're online, on the air. Wherever that you may need us, we're going to be there bringing you a word of hope and encouragement. So I hope you'll stay tuned in to us. And then also, if you have a prayer request and you'd like us to pray with you on this program today, would you email us at prayer at tct.tv? We'd love to hear from you and agree with you today for miracles in your life. Amen. And then they can call the prayer line. Our prayer partners will pray for you if you call 1-800-232-9855. And Kathy, I know they're bringing in those requests to you. And uh, thank you for being here and praying with us today. Well, it's great to be here. And yes, they are bringing in requests. We hear from so many of you and so happy for that. You know, guys, I was just thinking, you know, back to 9-11, we can have conversations about where were you? Mm-hmm during 9-11, what were you doing? And everybody's got a story about how it affected them. It's gonna be the same thing for COVID-19. 
Some people are going to say, I was stuck overseas and the government had to send a plane to pick me up. Some people are going to say, um, I was here or I was there. I was in another state. And some people are going to say, I gave God my life mm, during COVID-19. Yes. And that's one of the purposes of Prayer on Purpose, to help to lead people to know who Jesus is. And we've got lists of people who have called in and given their lives to the Lord. And what an amazing and wonderful testimony to say. When I came out of COVID, I went into COVID-19 one way, but I came out of COVID-19 yeah. a whole nother way because I met Jesus Christ. And we want you to meet him today too so please give us a call 800-232-9855 we want to pray with you and we will be doing that right here on the program today amen well, thank you kathy and as uh people start to call in their requests email those in we're going to be praying for you on the program in just a little bit but right now i want to introduce to you coming live right from our parking lot here in akron <laughs> ohio <laughs> dr dana gamble how are you doing today He's, uh, they got him driving in. Here he comes. All right. Awesome, awesome. So we're catching Pulling him. Pulling up to our drive through church service. Drive up in. Dr. Dana, how are you doing today? I'm doing fantastic, Tom. Great to be with you. I kind of feel like uh, David when his dad sent him with uh, cheese and bread, you know, to his brothers. I'm, I'm the pizza delivery guy here. Well, yeah, the you know a lot of people are getting their pizzas delivered and their dinners delivered and and different things. So hopefully you can deliver a uh, message of encouragement and and uh, hope to our viewers. And and we're adjusting just like many churches are adjusting with drive up uh, services and things. But uh, what is the uh, message that you would share with our viewers today? Well, I got some hot bread from heaven for you here. You know, some call it Wonder Bread and some call it Miracle Whip. I don't care what you call it. It's from heaven this morning. And basically what we've been sharing with our people is Psalms 91, you know. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge, my fortress, my God, and him will I trust. So really we're, we're saying that we're uh, secret place dwellers. We're uh, SPDs, not STDs, SPDs. We're secret place dwellers. Secret place dwellers, you know, they, they abide. So in, in this season where things are going crazy all around us, we're abiding in the presence of the Lord. Uh, in this place, uh, in this time, we're also having to uh, climb into the high places and get into the presence of God. But it's really not some place you go, it's some place that goes with you. So uh, we've got to stay in his presence. Well, thank you for that. And uh, I want to ask you to share, too, uh, what your church is doing. I know uh, that a lot of churches are having difficulty even uh, ministering to their people with, with uh, services being shut down and different things. People are live streaming as well as uh, just reaching to their community. But I know that uh, <clears throat> your church has been trying to find creative ways to uh, reach out to people. So can you uh, share with us uh, some of what you're doing right now? Well, you know, you have different demographics, Tom. You've got, you know, our seniors who are not really uh, tech savvy. Then you've got the millennials who, uh, man, they've got every kind of form of app you can get a hold of to connect with. So we've done a lot of different things. For our seniors, we uh, give them a number. They make a conference call in and they can listen on their regular phone. So they just pick up the phone, they call, and as soon as they call, they connect right in. For others, they watch online streaming. We do it through Facebook, through YouTube, through Instagram, all those different, um, those different means, and then uh, social platforms. And, and then also we're doing a, a drive-in church. So we have an FM transmitter right there on the property. It goes out to the people uh, in the parking lot and uh, you know, they're honking amen. They're, they're uh, having a good time. And then I come out and just, uh, it's kind of funny. I get on the back of a flatbed truck and drive around past each of the, the uh, cars, kind of like the Pope mobile, you know, and I go out and bless the people, bless the cars. And uh, so, you know, as far as getting the message out, we're doing that. We have uh, uh, Zoom meetings where we have our small group meetings connecting with that. Um, we're sending out letters. People are sewing and giving online. Uh, they're sending it through the mail. Um, lots and lots of things like that. And then in addition, I could tell you some of the outreach kind of things we're doing. 
Well, uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, I do want to have you uh, share the uh, outreach that your church is doing. And then as well, I'd ask you to uh, just share with people because uh, we're kind of into this uh, phase now where we've all been dealing this uh, with this for several weeks. We're adjusting. It's kind of a little bit of the new normal. We want to get back to at least somewhat of the old normal at, at some point. But, uh, you know, we're people are adjusting. But at the same time, um, there's still a lot of uh, people that are hurting financially hurting um, people that are uh, dealing with this uh, COVID-19 disease itself, people that are sick, people that uh, are dealing with family members, friends, loved ones that are sick. And uh, so uh, let me have you share uh, just what you would say to those that are uh, needing to hear from God today as well. Yeah, you know, every day um, I do a, uh, what I call 707. At 707 in, in the, uh, in the evening, I go on Facebook and just share with people uh, messages of hope. Uh, you know, yeah, it's not always going to be this way. I'm just telling you right now, I believe there's going to be a shift and it's, it's, it's coming soon. And yet uh, there are some things that are going to be a new normal. And uh, I, I believe that we're going to reach people in a whole new way as far as the church goes, uh, continuing to do um, everything from online to connecting with people. I mean, right now we have people connecting with us from all over the world and uh, calling in for prayer every day. Uh, people are really suffering, you're right. There, there are people who need uh, a word of healing and, and the, same, uh, the same Jesus that hung on the cross for us when he did. I want you to know that COVID-19 was nailed to the cross. I'm telling you, it was nailed to the cross. Corona, which means crown, corona disease was, was nailed to his head. He took the crown of thorns in his head and corona has to bow. It is a defeated foe. And uh, I just want you to know, you're gonna come out of this. You will come out and uh, things will shift and change. But until they do, you, wherever you are, in your home right now, your home has become a sanctuary, a place where God, God abides and dwells. Amen. And uh, many of our viewers and, and churches that are watching, tuning in, are uh, again, having a hard time figuring out how to continue, not just the church services, and I know many, uh, you, you said you had a lot of great ways to continue to connect with your members, but uh, to be able to maintain ministry and, and going out and serving when we need to be socially distant from each other and we can't have big gatherings. But uh, I know your church has found some great ways to continue uh, some outreach during this time. Can you, can you share with our viewers some of those ideas? Yeah, Tom, we have been doing a lot of um, giving out food to people. We have at the Dream Center there in Canton, um, we're doing about 15 tons of food every two weeks that we're giving out to people. They drive up in their car. Uh, we put it right in their uh, in the back of their trunk and they drive right off. We've had a number of companies working with us, Case Farms, uh, the Heinz Company, um, even CVS has given us candy. Uh, we've had a number of, of major businesses working with us and helping us. So through the food bank, we're doing that. We also have uh, two charter schools in one of our buildings and we're feeding through those charter schools, the community around that, that they come in for uh, uh, drop off of breakfast and lunch every day. Um, we're working with the hospitals. We're taking snacks to the people who are working all night long in the ER, uh, taking them all kinds of stuff to keep them going and, and blessing them. We're making masks for the hospitals. Um, I'm telling you everything you can think of we're out there uh, connecting with people. And not only that, but we're encouraging our people to do some other things. Like if they can't get out of their home, they put little, we're having them put little uh, sticky notes on their, uh, like their mailbox, on their trash can, uh, on their door when people are doing delivery, just telling people we're praying for you to all the delivery people. We're also encouraging people in their neighborhoods to go for prayer walks and, and pray for their, for their community. I mean, there's just so many ways that we can we can really still reach people uh, even in this time. Well, thank you for sharing that. And I know a lot of people are uh, getting stir crazy at this point. And they're just wanting things to go back uh, to, to normal and they're feeling trapped and not much to do other than just uh, watch the news and see when this thing is all going to be over. But uh, thank you for sharing some tremendous ways that we can use this as a way to continue to do good, continue to uh, help people, continue to spread the love of God during this time. And uh, can I ask you to just pray for our viewers today as well? I sure will. You know, um, 
hearts. I believe we need to read Psalms 91 every day over our family. I believe it's a, it's like a spiritual vaccine. It's a spiritual inoculation. No plague can come nigh our dwelling place. So Father, we just lift up families that are suffering, families that are grieving from loss of loved ones. Father God, we just pray the Holy Spirit will be a comfort, a present help in the time of trouble to them. Father, we lift up families who are struggling financially. I thank you that you supply all of our need according to your riches and glory. And we were joking, Lord, about, about coming and bringing bread, but even in the wilderness, you brought manna from heaven. Lord, if you've got to drop it by angels, I know you can do it. So Father, we're just believing for financial resources, for blessings over households right now. Father, we lift up families that are kind of just having too much closeness right now. It's just too much in the same house. Father, I just pray that you would bless families right now, bring them closer together than ever before. And I pray that the body of Christ would rise up in this moment and be your hands extended, your voice to a, a lost and dying world. Father God, it's the greatest opportunity we may have had in our entire lifetime to let people know that you love us that you couldn't have even imagined this world without us, that we're the apple of your eye and we're engraved in the palm of your hand. So Father, we bless people today and remind them that all they have to do is say, Lord Jesus, be Lord of my life. Come into my heart, be my Lord and Savior for now and eternity. And Lord, we know that you'll do that. We know that you will change our lives today. So we thank you for that in Jesus' name we pray, amen. 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 Thank you so much for that. Pastor Dana Gamble with Synergy Church Network. You can find out more about them at synergychurch.live. And uh, thank you for coming to our drive through interview today. God bless. Awesome. Awesome. Blessings, buddy. Yeah, we want to uh, continue to pray for you. You can call us at 1-800-232-9855 or email in prayer at tct.tv. And Judge, do we have the emails coming in? Tom, I say I was encouraged by that. Our yeah. first ever drive-in <laughs> interview, that was uh, really awesome uh, to see. But uh, please respond to us with your prayer requests. We want to put our faith in agreement with you. This is Gloria, and she wants to remain anonymous, but just asking for prayer uh, that the spirit of fear would be lifted off her life and that she would get back to reading the Word and not listening listening to television that is negative. And so uh, thank you for watching TCT that is positive and that's building your spirit. And we're glad that you're tuned in. So uh, we want to just pray for you right now. So Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for our friend today who emailed in. I just ask that your spirit would just begin to touch. God, that you would just move in their life. We just come against the spirit of fear, that tormenting, unwanted, unwelcome spirit of fear. And Father, we command it to go off their life right now in the name of Jesus. And Father, we thank you for the peace of God to pass all understanding, to guard their heart and their mind right now in the precious name of Jesus. And I uh, thank you, Father. Many of you, I know the spirit of fear, we're seeing a lot of the responses of anxiety and fear. Listen, I'm telling you, that spirit of fear is not of God, right? We have a sound mind. And yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna sometimes allow it in because you're concerned. And, and all of a sudden you begin to meditate on things. And then before you know it, that spirit of fear has just took grip. But I'm telling you today, that God wants you to have a sound mind and we're just speaking that into you that as you begin to build yourself up with faith, which is hearing the word of God, right? Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So when you're listening to Christian television, when you're reading the Bible, when you're turning on that praise worship music, that fear is going to leave because faith is crushing fear. And uh, that's what we've got to do more than ever, guys. As we all know, I mean, there's so many uncertainties that people are dealing with, but we know faith will crush that fear, Kathy. All of us can say how God has moved in our individual lives. So we don't sit here just saying something. We're sitting here as witnesses of the truth and reality and power of the Word of God and what He's done for us. He can do the same thing for you. And people are continuing to call 800-232-9855. And we're so excited. We're so blessed to be able to partner with you, to agree with you in prayer. And we're just praising God for the differences that we are seeing, the miracles that God is performing and saving people's lives and and we're getting reports of people's lives being touched their bodies being healed 
What a blessing, and we're so grateful for it. Rosemary, listen, you're the next one we're praying for, and she's calling from Christopher, Illinois, and she's praying, uh, requesting prayer for a financial breakthrough. And you know what's so special about this, Rosemary, that even though her prayer request is for a financial breakthrough, she is giving $15 to TCT in spite of where she is financially. She still sees what God is doing and sowing into the work of Christ. So listen, Rosemary, we're bringing you before the Lord right now. God, you see her heart, her heart in the right place. God, we pray right now that you touch her, that you make a way for her, Lord, even though it may seem that there is no way. Give her a financial breakthrough right now. God, send the right person in, in her pathway, Lord. One person can make a difference in her finances. And we pray that you make that happen for her in the name of Jesus. Rosemary, pay your tithes when the Lord bless you. And listen, I want to pray also for Sally, who is calling for prayer for her son to be set free. Sally, we're just believing God to set him free. God makes all the difference, no matter what it is he might be dealing with. Uh, we don't, you didn't specify here, but God knows what it is. So, Lord, we pray for Sally's son right now. Move for him in the name of Jesus. Make a difference for him. Lord, you see what the situation is and what he needs. God, do it for him right now. In the name of Jesus, we pray. We're praying also for Judy of Fort Wayne, Indiana, and for Sandra of Tonawanda, New York. Both are requesting prayer for healing. So, Father, we pray that you touch them right now. You know what they have need of. You know specifically what it is in their bodies that they're asking you, Lord, for. So, Lord, cause the manifestation manifestation of the promises in your word that with your stripes we are healed in the Old Testament and with your stripe by your stripes we were healed in the new so you supported it for us so cause the manifestation of that healing to take place in their bodies right now and we are so grateful we want you to continue to call and don't forget, when the Lord answers that prayer, give us a call back because we want to rejoice with you. Now, don't go away because we've got a whole lot more coming to you on Prayer on Purpose. Coming up in our next interview is Pastor Jimmy Rogers, and he is of Good Hope Missionary Baptist Church right here in Akron, Ohio. So excited about what God is doing. You won't want to miss this next interview. We'll be right back. With all of the information and news reports surrounding the coronavirus, it's easy to become fearful. What if I get sick? Is this going to impact my job? Are my loved ones going to be okay? The unanswered questions can become overwhelming, so let me encourage you that with faith in God, He is going to get us through this difficult time, and we believe that God will work good out of this. Psalm 91 promises us that in turbulent times just like this, God will never leave us, we may have to deal with some inconveniences, but we can do it with a smile on our face, remembering how blessed we truly are. Today, as we take necessary precautions, listening to the directives of our leaders, you can choose to live in peace, even when it seems like there is chaos all around, and you can choose faith over fear and peace over worry. You are loved by a wonderful God, and He has a good plan for your life. As Christians, we should never lose sight of the incredible work of love Jesus did for us on the cross. We want to help you stay focused on what the Lord did for each one of us. For your love gift of any amount in April, TCT would love to send you Transform for Triumph, Crossing into Victory. As we celebrate our Lord's resurrection this time of year, it's more important than ever for us to let the world know we serve a risen Savior. As a token of our appreciation for your support of any amount in April, we'd like to send you Transformed for Triumph, Crossing into Victory. To get yours, call us at 1-800-232-9855. Not long ago, I was at an event and I was sharing about TCT with people who were coming by the booth and 
this one man I began to talk to and say, hey, have you heard about TCT? And he looked at me with this kind of look on his face like, yeah, of course. He said, Judge, I have TCT on 24 hours a day. He said, I've been through a very dark time in my life, and that's the only thing that's been able to help me get me through. And I love TCT, and obviously he knew a lot of the programs and what time they aired and all kinds of things. He was truly someone who valued and appreciated TCT because it gave him hope in a dark time in his life. When you become a partner with this ministry, that's exactly what you're doing. You're helping to give someone hope in their dark time. And so I want to encourage you to become a partner today. You say, well, Judge, I can't right now, but I want to encourage you to pray for us if you feel like you can't do it right now. But those of you who can, and you're in a position that you can sow and you can give today, I want to encourage you to do that. Would you call 800-232-9855? or simply go on the website at tct.tv. You know how to do that. We're doing that nowadays, right? Um, And of course, you can always just write a check and send it to P.O. Box 1010, Marion, Illinois, 62959. And in appreciation for your gift, we want to just send out our way of saying thank you, this book for this month, for any gift amount. That's right, any gift amount, our way of saying thank you, Transform for Triumph, Crossing into Victory. The little nuggets of truth in here I know will inspire you and encourage you, but we want to continue that partnership as you give to us. We just want to say thank you. So thank you, thank you, thank you for your very best seed today, and we appreciate it as we're helping to bring someone hope in their dark time. And Tom, that's what we truly do. That's our heart and mission, to broadcast the gospel to the highways, into the byways. I like to say it like this, to everyone, everywhere, in every way. Absolutely, and you know, on this program, we talk about the prayer requests that come in, uh, emails that come in, but there's literally literally millions of people that watch this broadcast that are blessed. We know that there's uh, thousands of prayer requests uh, when you consider all the programs that are uh, going on 24-7 on this network, and our prayer line's receiving thousands of calls throughout the day, every day for that, and so, yeah, it's a blessing that's affecting Uh, So many, we're seeing the salvations that are coming in. And so uh, it's an important uh, work. And of course, TCT has been doing this for well over 40 years. And we know the importance of fulfilling the Great Commission, getting the gospel out into all the world. But uh, certainly this seems to be like it's more important than any other time to be able to have a resource to broadcast the gospel, to encourage people, to connect with people, to uh, uplift people uh, when it's a time where people are, stuck in their homes. Well, we're coming right into your home today. We're coming right into millions of homes around the world. And so uh, thank you to everybody that has allowed us to do that. Uh, It's truly a blessing and an honor just to be able to know that we're having a difference in people's lives today. And we want to continue praying for you right here on Prayer on Purpose. Call us at 1-800-232-9855. Email in prayer at tct.tv. And Kathy, do we have uh, prayer requests coming in? Yes, the calls continue to come in. Uh, We have Brenda from Detroit, Michigan. She's calling in for healing, peace, and protection. And Brenda, I just want to encourage your heart that God loves you and that he cares for you. He provided something in his word, healing for you, peace, my peace I leave with you, my peace I give with you. That's what Jesus said. Protection as well. You don't have to worry about it. He that dwelleth in the secret place, Psalm 91 of the Most High, shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. But the enemy doesn't want us to know who we are in Jesus. And I just want to stand in agreement with you today, Lord. Uh, We're praying for Brenda. And as I agree with her, Lord, that you touch her body, that you manifest your presence to her right now. Lord, that the manifestation of your healing power touch her. Lord, you know the physical condition that she is in, and we pray that you move for her in the name of Jesus. Give her a healing. Lord, speak peace to her heart. Let her know that you're right there and that you've been there all the time. So, Brenda, just begin to praise God and raise your hands before him and thank him for his power moving in your life right now. We've got another Brenda. This one is from Wyoming, Michigan, and she's also calling in for prayer and for healing. The same things that I have just said to Brenda from Detroit. We are praying for you the same prayer. Lord, touch her right now. Manifest your healing power in her body. Reach out, Lord, and let her know that you're right there with her in the name of Jesus. We're praying for your daughter, Barbara, from Sparta, New Jersey. She has called in, and that's the prayer request. 
request. Lord, you know what the daughter is in need of. Touch her daughter right now, God. Whether it be for her health, her wealth, or her well-being, make your presence known in her life and meet the need right now in the name of Jesus. And one more provision is what Patricia is calling in for. Lord, just let her know that you're right there to meet every need, that she doesn't have to worry about it, that you said and promised that you will supply all of our needs according to your riches and glory. Help her to realize and hear what your word is saying because it's faith that comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Let her know, give her the comfort to know that you've got her back. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Keep those calls coming, 800-232-9855. We want to pray with you. Tom. Thank you, Kathy. We do. And you can also email in prayer at tct.tv. If you're watching on the Facebook live stream, I'd encourage you to share this so that others can submit their prayer requests. And you can just leave a comment with whatever need you may have. We're monitoring that right here on the set. We want to pray with you. We're also going to be taking communion a little bit later on in the program together so you can prepare to take communion with us. But right now I want to go to our next guest joining us today via Skype, Pastor Jimmy Rogers from the Good Hope Missionary Baptist. Baptist Church, how are you doing today? I'm doing quite well. Thank you so much. How are you all doing? Well, we're doing good. We're trying to maintain our uh, social distancing, so thank <laughs> you for uh, helping us to do that. But I, at the same time, uh, ministering to our viewers, I know you're going to share a worship song with us in a minute that will uplift people. Yes. But uh, what word do you have to share with viewers that are watching today that uh, are worried about how they've been affected by what's going on, uh, even those that may haven't been affected to uh, any extreme degree somewhat, but they're fearful of what they're seeing going on and things continuing uh, to get worse, what would you uh, uh, say to encourage our viewers today? Well, Tom, I want to first off say this. Thank you for this opportunity to share with the world. Secondly, I want to say that the whole world is groaning. The whole world is, is praying and believing God for greater. And the Bible tells us, this is one of my favorite scriptures in Revelation 12, 11, that they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimonies, for they love not their lives unto death. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God and are the called according to his purpose. What we have to do now like never before is return back to prayer. We have to return back to the rudiments of what God says is working and what works. He says, be ye holy for I am holy. And we as a nation have to go back to the old landmark as they would say back in the day to believe God for the miracle signs and wonders that he promised those that believe. Well, thank you for sharing that. And um, again, I know you're going to sing. I want to ask you to pray for us on the program uh, today. But uh, how do you see God moving through this? Because we know uh, as Christians that we're not supposed to be focusing on, on the evil. We're not supposed to be think focusing on the negative. We're not supposed to be seeing uh, what the world is telling us is, is doom and gloom, but we're supposed to uh, focus and meditate on whatever so things are, are pure, whatever things yes. are good. And so uh, w what do you see God doing uh, through this to, to work all things towards the good as we know that he can do? Well, the Bible, Tom, tells us that uh, no good thing will he withhold from them who walk upright. It also tells us that in this time that we would see, uh, Brother Judd said something, uh, that there would be perilous times, sundry times. But but this is the chance and the time for the believer. If we have never believed in ever in our life, God is giving the believer an opportunity to believe. Hallelujah. The Bible says no good thing will he withhold from them who walk upright. But he also says unto us that nothing shall be impossible to them that believe. Where are the believers in this season? We must stand and believe our God, even in a day like today when it looks like, well, we, we have to also understand that the Bible also says, for the wage of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. There is an opportunity, there is a chance to receive salvation even in this time. Hallelujah. We as believers know that to live is Christ and to die is gain. We have 
believers have a hope in Christ. The Bible tells us if Jesus had not gotten up from the grave, we would be most miserable. But I'm so glad that the power of God resurrected Christ Jesus, and because we have salvation in Christ Jesus, that same salvific power will give us the ability to to be risen from the dead. But while we're here and yet remain, we're going to believe God. We're going to trust God. We're going to give it all that we have. Hallelujah. And who knows when God is going to come back for us. The Bible said that Jesus is going to descend with a shout. Hallelujah. The dead in Christ are going to rise first. And they that remain, Brother Tom, Sister Kathy, Brother Judge, we're going to be transformed from the mortal into immortality. And I'm so glad to be a part of this season as a believer. I activate my faith right now like never before. Hallelujah. I exercise my faith and I choose to believe God. For without faith, it is impossible to believe him. Amen. What a powerful word. Thank you for sharing that today. And I also want to ask you to just lead us into a uh, time of worship. And I know you're prepared to sing for us in my name. Would you uh, just lead us into a time of worship right now? Absolutely, I sure will. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Let this mind be in you as was also in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. The song says, I'll give you peace. When the storm is raging And I'll be your light Yes, I will When the road ahead seems dim Yeah, I have the power Hallelujah Mm, just put your trust in me. Anything that you need, have faith in me. Just ask, just ask in my name. Oh, oh, just ask. All you have to do is ask in his name. This is the part I like about it, TC. T, it says, mm -hmm. I am the Lord. Yes, I am. I can move all mountains. And I'll be your strength. When you're weary, weak, and torn, oh, believe in my promise, hallelujah, because I will take care of you, anything that you need, have faith indeed. And just ask, just ask in my name, oh, oh, just ask, just ask in my name. All things are possible. I'm able to do the impossible. It's in my name. All oh, can come boldly before me. It's in my name. I, I am the Father. All you have to do is put your trust in me, yeah. Anything that you need, have faith indeed. Just ask, yeah. 
Just ask in my name. Oh, oh, oh. there's power in his name. Yes, there is. How many of you know that there's power? Behold, I've given unto you power, power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all of the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you in his name. Ha, there is power. Hey, it's in his name. Hey, there is a joy. Hey, in his name, there is joy. Yeah, it's in his name. I like this. There is love. Hey, it's in his name. I love. It's in his name. Hey, and I, I've got peace. Hey, it's in his name. It's the peace of God that passes all understanding. It's in his name. I've got peace, yeah. Ah, peace. Listen, how in the world can we have peace at this time except God give it to us? Oh, power. Hey, power to walk right. Power to talk right. Power to live right. He'll give you power in this season. Luke 10, 19 says power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. just ask. Just ask in his name. Oh, oh, just ask. Just ask in his name. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous can run into it and they are safe. God bless you. Amen. Thank you so much for blessing us with that song. And uh, Pastor Jimmy, can I just ask you to pray for our viewers before we go? Absolutely. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we want to say thank you. God of heaven, it is here that we, we honor you and we bless you. Even in this season, we will not give up hope. We will not stop believing you. God, we will trust in you. We will trust in the Lord with all our heart. We will lean not to our own understanding, but in all our ways, we will acknowledge you. Hallelujah. Because you promised to direct our path. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I pray for every essential worker. I pray, God, that you would be with them mentally, physically, emotionally, financially in this sign, in this time. Father, I pray that you would continue to touch the cardiovascular system of the body, the respiratory system of the body. Hallelujah. I'm asking that you would touch the endocrine system of the body. Allow the, the blood to get down into the recess of the soul, God. Annihilate the plan of the enemy. God, annihilate this thing you said in your word with your stripes we are healed and we hold on to it nothing shall be impossible to them that believe god we activate our faith in the name of the lord jesus we send the blood of jesus all over the world we send the blood all over the world god even right now god in the places and the areas that they may not know the name of jesus we send the name of jesus into every nook and cranny every area of the world and god we we trust you, we believe you, and we honor you, and we thank you for this opportunity. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Bless our founders, God, Drs. Garth and Tina Kuntz, and those that are facilitating this program today. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Remember us all. Amen, and thank God. Hey man, thank you so much, Pastor Jimmy Rogers from the Good Hope Missionary Baptist Church. Thank you for sharing with us, for singing with us, bless for praying you. with us, and God bless you so much. God bless you, man of God and woman of God and sir.
All right. Thank you so much. And we want to continue to pray for your needs today. If you have a prayer need, call us at 1-800-232-9855. You can also email us at prayer at tct.tv. And uh, if you're watching on the Facebook stream, I encourage you just leave a prayer request as a comment. We're monitoring that. We'll pray for you as well. And uh, Kathy, do we have prayer requests coming in? Yes, they're still coming in. People are still calling and we are so happy to be able to pray with you. Ethel of Savannah, Georgia is calling in for healing for her sister. Many people call in for someone else, and I just want to encourage those of you who have someone you want to put their name on our prayer list, please give us a call and add their names because we are praying. And even if we don't get to all of the prayer requests that we receive, please know that even when we leave the air, we will continue to pray for you. So Ethel, we're lifting your sister up before the Lord right now. Lord, touch her body. You see the situation. Lord, manifest your presence, presence where she is right now. Lord, let your your healing power take over right now in her body Lord and correct whatever the situation might be in the name of Jesus we pray and we're praying for Ronnie he wants healing in his body and God loves you Ronnie and he paid the price for you to be healed it was by the stripes of Jesus that you your body can be healed so receive it right now in the name of Jesus the Bible tells us in Mark the 11th chapter what things soever you desire we you pray believe that you receive them and you shall have them so Lord just we are reaching out right now to you Lord that you move Lord and just inspire Ronnie's heart to recognize the truth of your word reach out and receive your healing right now Ronnie in the name of Jesus touch him where he needs it father and we give you praise Lord we're praying for for Bart and this was just this one just touched my heart Bart is uh, requesting prayer for his wife to have peace and he Healing from her past. So many people are going through so many things, things that happened to them in their childhood, things that occurred on their job, things that happened in their family, so many things that have happened and they're carrying it around as baggage that's keeping them from going forth into the provision and the destination and destiny that God has for their lives. So we're adding all of them right along with as we pray for Bart's wife. Lord, help her. Lord, send the right people in her life. Lord, point her to the truth that will make her free. Lord, we uncover whatever the enemy wants her to be blinded to. If forgiveness needs to pl take place, lead her to it, God. Set her free right now in the name of Jesus. You said, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. So, Lord, lead her to that truth right now so that she can live in peace, Lord, so that she can live in harmony. Lord, so touch her and give her deliverance from her past and everyone else who has a similar request right now, Lord. We speak truth in the name of Jesus. Take them in their mind's eye to the thing that will uncover it so that they can walk free. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Tom. Thank you, Kathy. Jesus. And thank you, Judge, Jesus. do we have emails coming in as well? Absolutely. Lawrence, thank you for emailing in. So request, uh, Lawrence says that I have a prayer request for children that have cancer right now, and I have cancer of the pancreas. Please pray for me also. I know he loves me. Thank you. Her heart's going out for children who are dealing with the very thing she's dealing with. What a great, compassionate heart. So, Lawrence, we pray right now, Father, that you would just touch from the top of their head to the soles of their feet right now. I just speak life into their body, that cancer has no authority. We speak the name of Jesus over it right now. And we thank you, Lord, for healing and restoration in that pancreas, that the enemy cannot have it. And I thank you, Father, for a complete healing into that body right now in Jesus name and father we do lift up all the children who are struggling with this and the parents who are going with it we pray comfort for their hearts but we also God ask for your touch to these children Lord as they cry out to you and ask for your the prayers that God you would hear the prayers and God that you would answer and that you would heal their very little bodies and I thank you father for healing touch right now in the name of Jesus that God you are a strong tower and we can run to you and we're safe. This email comes in from uh, Sherry. He says, pray, for, uh, pray we receive our stimulus check, believing for a financial miracle, right? Which is much needed. Pray for our sons in prison and that the Lord would move on their behalf and all the prisoners and inmates from city to city, county to county, and state to state, as well as touch the governors and mayors, warden, judges, district attorneys, guards, and also homeless orphans, shut in elderly widows and hungry missionaries. Well, you covered it all, yes. We need to continue to pray for all that. Thank you, Sherry, because this is what prayer is. It's making our petition 
to the Lord. And this is what he put on your heart. And so let's agree for all of these requests. Father, you know that Sherry needs that stimulus of money. She's believing for a breakthrough. But God, I believe you're the source. And God, you can do it supernaturally for her in different ways. And God, you know that she needs that breakthrough. So God, however you decide to bless her, I ask God that the heavens would open up. And God, that you would supply every need that she has right now in Jesus' name. And touch her sons that are in prison. God, touch their hearts. Bring them back to a place of humility and a place of surrender totally and completely to you. God, that you can turn the situation around in their hearts. And God, that they can for eternity know you. And Father, I thank you that you would bless all of this request, all of those in government and leadership and the orphans and the widows, Father, that your comfort and your strength would be with them right now in the precious name of Jesus, God. I thank you. God knows and he cares. You know, he knows every hair that's on our head, right? He knows if the sparrow uh, falls to the ground. He, he knows all about the lilies of the valley, right? He is that bright and morning star. And he wants to bring you that hope and encouragement today. And we can trust him in that. Uh, Danette uh, praying that uh, emailed in and said this, uh, praying that God will give my son clarity and the mindset of Christ, praying for their son. And so I pray, Lord, right now that, God, you know right where this son is. We're asking that you would touch him, that your spirit would be upon him right now. God, you would give him clarity, that you would draw him closer to you in the name of Jesus. And I believe that God has a plan for these young people. You know, guys, the enemy tries to steal out this generation. But people just like this who say, I'm going to pray for my son. I'm going to pray for my daughter. Those grandparents that email in or write into here or in their church or get on their knees and pray. I heard a story once of a, of a grandmother. They found her. She had passed away. And she was sitting in a rocker when they found her. And she had the church prayer list in her hand when she had passed away. And I thought, my God, how awesome that was, is that there were people just like her praying for people like me and praying for people just like you. So the enemy cannot have you, will not take you. And friend, I want you to know that Jesus loves you and he's got a plan for you. No matter where you are, or what circumstance you're going through, this could be your day of turnaround and change. You know, uh, I love it, Tom, when the team hands us this updated list of the people who are giving their life to Christ. And this is what's so amazing. Joanne, Ethel, Teresa, Linda, Rudy, Betty, Danny. That's just a few of the people who have recently called in through the TCT ministry and given their life to Jesus Christ and have had a born again experience. And friend, that could be you today. Today could be your one day. This could be your moment on this Friday, on this moment, on this show that you said, uh-oh, the Lord's speaking to my heart. Well, you should be listening. You should listen because when he knocks, it's time for you to open. There's a prayer partner standing by right now. I want you to call that number. You simply admit that you have sin, believe that Jesus died on the cross, and confess him as Lord. Repent of your sins today. Ask him to be the Lord of your life, to surrender every area of your heart to him and say, God, you can take the rest of my life and you can use me however you want to. I surrender all. I surrender all. Friend, he loves you. He cares about you. We don't clean up to take a bath. We come just the way we are, right? Well, that's how Jesus wants us to come. He wants us to come in our mess and just the way we are and say, Father, I surrender all. Here's my heart. Here's my life. And friend, I want you to know that Jesus loves you. He's, the Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but should have ever lasting life. And that's the life we're offering you today. And so we're praying for you. We're believing you just need to find that quiet place, pray that prayer, and then give us a call and confess it with your mouth to say, hey, I just prayed that prayer and I want to uh, continue my walk with Christ. And I know we have a packet that we want to send out to you for those of you that prayed that prayer and you pray it with our, our prayer partner on the other end of the line. This prayer package will help you get started in your walk with Christ and give you that brand new start. I love one thing in there is that new birth certificate. It's saying on this day, this moment, I committed my life totally and completely to Jesus, and I've been born again. So would you make that call and let us hear from you right now? We want to add your name to our list. Well, friends, stay with us. There's more coming up right here in this program. Pastor Robert D. Jeanette from St. Ashworth Temple Church of God in Christ is going to be here, and my goodness, does he have a word that's going to encourage you? He's a powerful man in the community and in the church. You don't want to miss him. Stay with us. We'll be right back right after this. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. 
I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. You don't have to be afraid. Even in these troubling times we face, Trust Jesus for true and lasting peace. Though a small country, Israel is rich in history, both past and present. If you'd like to know more about the miraculous heritage of the Jewish people and their connection to the Word of God, TCT has just the item for you. The Spirit of Israel Bible, and it could be yours for a gift of only $150. This beautiful Spirit of Israel Bible is bound in a leather touch cover with silver accented pages. It also contains additional reference material highlighting the significance of the rebirth of Israel. You'll learn many Jewish customs and traditions and their link to Christianity. Learn more about the history of the Jewish people and their connection to today's world events as you study the Word of God. To get this lovely Spirit of Israel Bible, call us at 1-800-232-9855. You know, I was just looking in this Bible, the budding of the fig tree, beautiful pictures, and it gives a whole um, piece on the budding of the fig tree. And it's all inside this TCT Bible, the uh, Jewish culture the Jewish culture, rather, and uh, Israel and the United States of America. So much is included in this Bible. It's a wonderful edition. It's the Word of God that'll stand forever, that'll, and faith, as we've said earlier, comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. So you have that. And in the front of it, you've got beautiful pictures about the country of Israel. So if you want to know more about it and just so many historical things you can learn about the country of Israel, you can have that all in one place in this Bible. Our Spirit of Israel Bible can be yours for your contribution to TCT of $150 or more. We would love to rush this out to you. And for those of you who can't get to see somebody who's celebrating a birthday uh, because of this shut-in right now, but well, you can still have this sent to them and let, it, let them know that you were thinking about them and this is a gift that'll keep on giving. So won't you write to us at Post Office Box 1010, Marion, Illinois, 62959. 800-232-9855. You not only can give your prayer request, but if you want to support TCT, you can do it at the same number as well. Or you can uh, go to our website, tct.tv, and give online. You'll also find out there so many other things on our website that you might find yourself interested in wanting to be a part of. A way to support TCT and then receive something in return that'll be a blessing to you and your family. And then text to give, TCT. T five six five one two. We want to hear from you. You can't help but be blessed of God when you support the work of Christ. So let us hear from you real soon. Tom? Well, thank you for that, Kathy. And I want to say that we want to continue praying for you. Call us at 1-800-232-9855. Email in prayer at tct.tv. If you're on the Facebook live stream, I encourage you to share this post as well as Comment your prayer request on there. We're going to be monitoring this and praying over you as well. And in just a, a little bit, we're going to be taking communion together on this program. So I encourage you to join with us as we uh, gather together in a spirit of communion. And I encourage you, if, wherever you're at, if you're sitting at home, grab your cup of juice, your bread, your cracker, uh, and just uh, gather together the elements so that we can come together and do that. And I want to let you know, I know uh, many people want to make sure they have the proper communion wafers and, and, and juice, and it's important to honor God in that. But uh, during this time, if, if you're in isolation, if you haven't been able to get out, uh, whatever you can get, I know that God will honor as you just uh, do that in remembrance of him. And so uh, even if it's a cup of w water and, and a potato chip or whatever you have at home, uh, just uh, I encourage you to join with us in that. And we're going to have uh, another drive up interview here in just a moment. But uh, first, I want to say that uh, Zaloa, and I, I hope I'm pronouncing that right on our Facebook Live uh, feed, has submitted a prayer request. They lost their uh, father just a few days ago unexpectedly. Um, leaving behind five children, four grandchildren. And uh, let's just pray. Father God, we 
we lift up right now Zaloa and those that uh, have lost loved ones during this time, uh, those that are hurting, those that have a, a piece missing from their family. And Father God, we just ask that you send your spirit to be a comfort. Give them a peace that surpasses all understanding. Bless them right now in this time. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And right now I want to go to our next guest coming all the way from the TCT parking lot in our brand new drive up interview segment right here on TCT. We're joined by Pastor Robert Desjardins from St. Ashworth Church of God in Christ pulling up right now as we speak. Pastor Robert, how are you doing today? Doing good. How are you? I'm doing good. Uh, thank you for uh, doing the drive up interview. I know many churches are doing drive up services. There's uh, people that are relying on drive through food and all sorts of different things. So what do you have to share with our uh, viewers in this uh, new drive up interview? Well, you know, this is new to all of us and I know we're all trying to uh, figure this out, these uncharted waters that we're all uh, navigating through, and we're navigating them through by trusting in God. You know, uh, Psalms 46 and 10 says that, be still and know that I am God. He said, I will be exalted above the heathens, I'll be exalted above the earth. So it's time for us to either, especially Christians, to either, uh, if we're going to trust him or we're not. And, and, and I just believe that I, God has allowed this, not really, I don't think, purposes for the the world but purposes for the church because he wants to show wants us to show the light of him to the world in a time where the playing field is leveled now everyone this is affecting everyone all across the world and I believe this is a time for us to shine as Christians shine that we know Jesus Christ and that he is leading and guiding us through this and we really, really, really uh, need to trust uh, that he knows what he's doing. And, and we have to learn how to pray in his will. Because sometimes we want to pray for God to stop this and stop that. But we have to pray for his will to be done. Whatever his will is, that's what we want uh, to happen. And we want it to happen in a way that we can receive it and we'll just go with his flow. And I'm just thankful uh, for such a time as this because it's bringing people together, it's bringing the church together, it's reset time, time for us to evaluate where we are in Christ and what is it that he really wants us to do. And I think he's using this time for us in the church to get outside of those four, four walls of the church and be the church who he's called us to be. And he's calling us all together, whether whether we're Baptist, Church of God in Christ, uh, Methodist, Lutheran, we are the church. And I am just thankful to be a uh, part of this for such a time as this and want to just do his will. Well, thank you for that. And as you talk about reset, and I know many of us have uh, been talking about that, how as we're all at home, as we're all our distractions are taken away, we can use this as a time to to reset, to pray, to draw closer to God. Uh, what would you share with our viewers that maybe they can uh, make the most of this time to uh, help to reset, to help have something good come out of this, that when we get through this, and we all will get through this uh, together, but when we come out on the other side, that we'll have uh, looked back, be able to look back and say, hey, we used that time productively. We got something out of that. We used that reset to draw closer to God. How would you uh, tell our viewers to do that today? Well, you know, God tells us to seek him, and this is a time for us to really seek the Lord. And what I, I, what I would suggest to our viewers is in that reset, listen, because now we, uh, we pray a lot, we petition God a lot, but it's time to listen to God because prayer is communication between us and God. And we do a lot of talking, but now it's time for us to listen. What is he saying to us individually? Then we can enact that collectively as a body because we're going to come out of this stronger. He's given us new resources, different ways to do ministry now. And so I think this is a time for us to be still and know that he is God and, and not to be anxious or worry about uh, anything, but to uh, pray about everything. And that's what's time for us right now. Cause you know, he hasn't given us a spirit of fear. We're not panicking, but he also hasn't given us the spirit of foolishness either. So we need to stay home. We need to keep the social distancing. We need to do the things that will keep us out of harm's way so that we're able to be effective and impactful for the kingdom. Well, absolutely, and I know that Paul tells us that I can do all things 
through Christ who strengthens me. And a lot of times people want to take that to mean that, hey, I can uh, go do anything. I can do whatever I want. God will bless it. I can uh, be successful in all these different things. And I think God will certainly bless us and help us reach our goals. And that can be one encouraging way to interpret that scripture. But when we uh, read through what Paul is going through, we see that he was in uh, one of the worst places in his uh, life. He was in prison. He had gone through all sorts of terrible things and yet he was using that opportunity not even to comfort himself but he was talking to the church and saying hey don't worry about me uh, I know that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me so many people may be looking for that strength to carry them through in this time and no matter what people are going through I know that God will give them the ability to be able to uh, persevere and go through. And so uh, what would you sh uh, share with us to encourage viewers to keep strong during this time? Well, to keep strong, we have to really stay in God's Word. We have to stay in His Word to get that direction. We have to uh, stay in meditation so we can hear from Him. We need to tune out all the noises so much in the media. Sometimes we have to take a break from that because that will distract us from hearing what God wants us to hear. Yes, we need to pay attention and be attentive to what's going on uh, in the media, but sometimes that we feed so much of that in our spirits, it will uh, uh, cause us to think, be, think more in the flesh than in the spirit. It'll cause us to walk more by sight than by faith because we are people who walk by faith and not by sight, and we should should ask God for wisdom and discernment and to be able to discern what's real and what's not real. There's so many conspiracy theories out there and people are falling prey to that. But whether it's true or not, God is still in control. He still is the one that knows all and is above all, and he can bring us through this thing. So try to just get alone and get that quiet time with the Lord and listen to what he has for us individually, because there are people in our families that need to know the Lord. There's people in our neighborhood that need to know the Lord, and the only Bible some of them are going to read is our lives and how we are navigating through this. Yes, we are concerned. There are many people that are losing their lives and we are concerned but for the saints even the ones who are uh, transitioning to heaven that is the ultimate goal because uh, the scripture tells us that it's appointed unto man once to die then the judgment so we're all going to have to leave here so but let's not think about leaving here let's think about what is our purpose right now and our purpose is to be that light uh, that shines on that hill that when others see us they know something different about us and people are calling they flock into the church now so we have to stop talking about it and being about it really being about our father's business and that is with love that is with compassion that is with uh, just all the things he's equipped us to do and we can't do it unless we're in a place that we can hear from him and we can't hear from him unless we're in a place to know what his word says so i'm talking to everybody out there if you don't know the lord it's time to allow his spirit to draw you closer to him and for those of us that do know him it's time for us to reset and evaluate god where should i be at this time i want to be cleansed of all of all of my unrighteousness and take on your righteousness because i want to see you god and not only do i want to see you i want to be who you called me to be this day today Friday, April 24th, 2020, because we're not going to worry about tomorrow. It's going to take care of itself. Amen. Thank you for that and uh, helping to encourage us. And, you know, I want to say one uh, reason that I think is uh, so many people are having a hard time with this is they can't get out to their church services. They can't uh, get re certain resources as so many things are, are shut down. And so I just want to ask uh, how you and your church are uh, able to continue ministering to your uh, church body, to your community uh, through this? It's amazing because now we, we're, we're using the uh, virtual meetings, virtual Sunday school, virtual Bible study, Facebook live on worship service. And really we have more people on our virtual Sunday school and Bible study than we had coming to the church. So it's, it, it's really amazing how since people have time, they're resetting and they're taking the time to enjoy the Lord in different ways. So that's what we're doing at St. Ashford Temple. We only have about three or four people in the sanctuary when we're on Sunday, but we do Bible study from home and Sunday school. We we do it via Zoom. So uh, if I could just pray 
us out at this time and just thank you for this opportunity just to uh, share what God has laid on my heart. And Father, we ask in the name of Jesus that you touch everyone that's watching today. Someone, God, is weak in their spirit, but they needed a lift and they're getting that lift right now from you in their home, wherever they're listening, that your spirit will draw them. Your spirit will encourage them. Your spirit will lift them up. Ah, by the mighty, powerful name of Jesus Christ, we asking you to touch those who have been impacted and affected by this pandemic. God, let them look to you who is the author and finisher of our faith. Let them, God, uh, seek more of you during this time. And those who don't know you, God, let your spirit draw them right now that they will surrender their all to you. God, we thank you for your encouragement today. We thank you for what you already done. We thank you for what you're doing right now. And God, we're grateful what has yet to be seen. In Jesus' wonderful, powerful, matchless name we pray. Amen and amen. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us. Pastor Robert DeJournet from St. Ashworth Temple Church of God in Christ. And to find out more about his church ministry or join in those virtual services, go to satkojic.org. Thank you so much for joining us today. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you. All right, and so thank you, for uh, Robert, for joining us for our drive-in interview right here on TCT. And I want to let you know that we're here to pray with you. And I'm going to ask Kathy to lead us in a time of uh, communion in just a couple minutes here. But as uh, she prepares, as you prepare, and I encourage you to join us, grab your uh, bread, cracker, cup of juice, whatever uh, it is that you can uh, do to join us in a time of communion. And I want us to all come together, use this as a time to come come together in unity. We may not be uh, going to churches in person. We may be doing those virtual Sunday schools and all those different things that we've been talking about. But uh, this is a way that wherever we're at, as much distance as there is in between us, whether you're uh, here in Akron or anywhere around the world, uh, you can join with us by uh, taking communion. And I also want to let you know that we're praying for you. I encourage you to call 1-800-232-9855. Email in prayer at tct.tv. Or uh, if you're watching on the Facebook Live, I encourage you to share this feed as well as just submit your prayer request as a comment uh, right there. And we're going to be praying for you as well. We're going to be joining together for a time of corporate prayer in just a moment. But uh, right now, Kathy, can you lead us in communion? Most definitely, and we're going to be taking our communion today and, and dealing and coming from 1 Corinthians, uh, the 11th chapter, beginning at the 23rd verse. And um, if you have your Bibles, you can turn with that to that scripture with us, and uh, hopefully you've taken the time and gotten your elements, your juice, your cracker, your bread, so that you can share in this time with us. What an honor to be able to take communion together with you today. And in 1 Corinthians 11:23, the Bible says, For I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And just before we take that, let's just go to God right now. Lord, we thank you for your goodness. Thank you for this opportunity to bring us before you today. We pray, Lord, that you just wash us, that you cleanse us. Lord, that you just... Uh, Help us to be mindful of the reason and the purpose that we're doing it to remember you, Lord, to honor you. So, Lord, we just thank you for this opportunity, and we're just asking each one of you right now to break your bread and take of the bread. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you. He said, take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. And in the same manner, he also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. In my blood. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death till he comes. Let's take of the cup. Thank, you, Thank you, Father. We praise you Thank for you, this Jesus. opportunity, Thank Lord. You, and we're so happy that you have joined in to take communion with us. Thank you, Father. Excited that you have tuned into this program. We want you to just continue to tell your friends about prayer and purpose and be here with us 
next week as well. Tom? Thank you, Kathy. And we want to continue praying for you. Call us 1-800-232-9855 or email in prayer at tct.tv or just submit a comment on the Facebook live feed if you're watching that way. But uh, I want to right now, as you're submitting those requests, just go to a time of corporate prayer. And Judge, I want to have you start us out by uh, praying again for our local churches, their pastors, as they're uh, doing these creative ways. We've talked a lot about that on the program today, but uh, they have congregations that they're continuing to minister to. They're, they have communities that they're continuing to um, perform outreach in and just uh, keep them in prayer. And then I want to pray for uh, broadcast television ministries. We certainly understand here at uh, TCT the uh, importance of keeping this going and uh, as everybody's doing whatever we can to maintain uh, the social distancing guidelines, but continue to reach out to people, providing them with news and information, uh, providing them uh, certainly through this ministry with a way to um, worship and uh, for everyone that is working so hard to just keep the communication systems going. And then Kathy, uh, again, to pray for our president. I know it's so important to keep uh, President Trump and the uh, Coronavirus Task Force uh, in our prayer as they continue to uh, monitor the situation, come up with guidelines, give guidance to the states, and uh, just to help the, us as a nation overcome this. And so, uh, Judge, would you just open us up today? We want at home all my intercessors, all of our intercessors, the church's intercessors. Let's all agree together right now and let's pray in faith for our churches. Father, right now in the name of Jesus, God, we pray for our local churches and pastors trying to keep communities together during this time. And Father, I'm asking for a fresh touch from heaven right now for every pastor, every lay minister, everyone that's watching right now that has a position in ministry. I'm asking God that you would just give them a fresh touch from heaven, a fresh strength, a fresh grace. And Father, I thank you that you're giving them ideas and creativity like they've never seen before to continue to reach even more people than they've ever reached before. And Father, I thank you for your anointing. I thank you for a fresh and new anointing. Father, you said that you'd baptize us with the Holy Ghost and with fire. And Father, I pray that the fire of the Holy Ghost would burn within us as ministers and leaders. Father, that we would continue to see the gospel of Jesus Christ preached. God, that a lukewarm generation would rise up and uh, receive the power of the Holy Spirit. And Father, I pray for your strength on our pastors and leaders, I pray, Lord, that you continue to provide the finances and the resources and supply all of their needs in Jesus' name. Amen. Father God, we pray for broadcast television ministries. This is not just about us, Father God, but uh, we understand the importance of reaching people with the gospel right now. And for uh, anyone that is involved in, in getting a broadcast church service out so people that can continue to worship for uh, ministry programs that are going out in this time where so many are hurting. We know many are uh, relying on volunteers for uh, donations at a time where uh, their viewers, their supporters may be uh, suffering financially. And Father God, we just ask that you would provide, that you would allow a way for all broadcast ministries to continue going forward, reaching people. And as we're seeing here, more and more people calling in for prayer, more and more people reaching out saying that they want to accept Jesus Christ as their savior. We just ask that you would continue to provide, continue to uh, maintain and continue to allow us to reach people with your message in Jesus name. And Lord, we pray today for our president and the coronavirus task force. We continue in prayer for the success of their objective to monitor, prevent, contain, and mitigate the spread of COVID-19. Lord, they've accomplished so much. Strengthen them as they collectively work to finally make COVID-19 a thing of the past. Thank you for the wisdom you've provided to them thus far and for their untiring efforts to keep the public abreast of changes, discoveries, and critical information regarding this pandemic. Put down all opposition because their success directly affects us all. When they rest, let their rest be peaceful. Strengthen them, guide them, touch their minds, keep them safe, and make your presence known among them. Bless their families and give them a sense of peace. 
and keep them safe as well. We ask these blessings in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you for that. And I want you to know that we have just a few minutes remaining in this broadcast, but we want to be able to pray for you. And so if you have a need that's been on your heart, if you uh, have been uh, wanting to call in, wanting to receive prayer, right now is the time. Call us right now, 1-800-232-9855. The prayer partner will pray over you. We want them to rush those prayer requests out to us on the set so that we can pray over those uh, before we go off the air today. You can also email us directly. We're getting those right here on the set. Uh, and so you can email a prayer request at prayer at tct.tv. If you're watching on the Facebook live broadcast, uh, you can just simply uh, submit your prayer request as a comment there. We're monitoring that feed as well, and we want to pray for you. But I want to let you know, even after this broadcast finishes, TCT is going to continue putting out great Christian programming 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And so this can be your source, your place to turn to anytime, day or night, where you need a uplifting word, you need some encouragement, you need some hope, uh, you need some prayer. I encourage you to tune into TCT and that prayer line as well is available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So whether it's during this program or anytime, you feel the need that you just want to connect with someone, you want to talk to someone, you want to let them know what you're believing God for and, and come into agreement with prayer. Our prayer partners are waiting to pray with you anytime, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And uh, of course, you can always email in your requests as well, prayer at tct.tv. And I want to take a moment to say, if you've been blessed by this program, if you see the importance of all the people that we've been praying for that are uh, having a, a resource, a way to connect, a way to be encouraged during this time, if you're seeing all these salvations that are uh, calling in, and thank God for everyone that has made that decision to follow Christ today, but we wouldn't be able to do any of this without you. And so I would ask you to take a moment right now and will you let us know that you're standing with us will you let us know that you're supporting us would you let us know that you're praying with us you can call the prayer line let the prayer partner know that you'd like a, to give a donation to help out call 1-800-232-9855 and whatever it is you can do any size gift larger or small when we all come together we all do our part we all do uh, what god has enabled us to do when we just know that we're doing what God has called us to do. We know everything's gonna be all right. We know things are gonna continue going. And so thank you to everyone that's standing with us. You can give a secure donation on the website, www.tct.tv. And if you want text to give, text the word TCT to 56512. We'll send you back a link that allows you to give a donation right over the phone, right uh, through your smartphone. And so I encourage you to do that right now. And as you you're giving, as you're th thinking about what you can do to support TCT. Many of you may be saying, I want to do uh, a, a, a large gift. I'd, I'd love to uh, do a lot to support TCT, but I can only do a little bit right now. I can only do something right now. Consider becoming a monthly partner. This ministry has been built for over 40 years by many people that believed in the vision and gave just a dollar a day sent in a check for $30 a month saying, I want to do my part to have Christian television in my home and around the world. And so whether it's a dollar a day, $30 a month, $50 a month, $100 a month, whatever it is you can do, do it right now. Let us know you're standing with us and together we will continue getting the gospel out around the world 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So thank you as you do that. And, and Judge, are people emailing in their prayer requests? Yes, Tom, I believe many people are hearing what you're saying and see the importance and significance of Christian television. And it's so awesome. And we love the partnership. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you for emailing in. Uh, Charlisa emailed in and said, I'm watching the TV show today and uh, I'm e emailing in my prayer request. But Easter Sunday, she gave her life to the Lord and just praying for employment. And so uh, let's just pray, pray right now for her. Father, we we thank you right now that you would just meet her needs. God, you know the doors that need to be open when it's time for them to open. And God, I'm asking that you would just provide for her. God, that there be a new resource in her life. Thank you that she's a new baby Christian in you. And I'm asking God that you would lock her in uh, with friends uh, that are believers that will help encourage her and build her faith as she walks this out and grows in a relationship with Jesus Christ. And, and we thank you. And this is uh, from... Uh, Kina and says, uh, praying for her husband, Gerald, for his salvation. And so we're speaking 
for his salvation. We're calling him forth. And hey, if you need someone saved in your life, that's exactly right. You got to call them out and begin to pray for them. And so, Father, we thank you for him. And we just pray, God, wherever he is, whatever the situation is in his life, Father, that you would draw him closer to you, that you would redeem him and do a work inside of his life, that, God, he would have a born-again experience in his life very quickly in Jesus' name. And God, I just ask for restoration in that family and your peace that pass all understanding in Jesus' name. And guys, I want to read this. This is, this is so great. Uh, this is from Amy. And Amy says, I just want to thank you all for TCT, for everything that you do. I've watched TCT for years. You are such a blessing. Thanks again. God bless you all. Amy from Mount Erie, North Carolina. Thank you, Amy, for that encouragement. Thank you for watching. It's partners just like you that are making a difference and seeing so many lives touched and changed. Kathy? Yes, I have three callers, Vivian and Betty and Linda, and each of them are calling in for their husbands. And so we're just going to take them. We don't know specifically what the need is, whether it's for their health, but we're just going to pray for them in general that God knows specifically what it is. Lord, bless Vivian's husband. Lord, bless... Betty's husband, Linda's husband, you know what they are in need of, God. You know what the situation is. We pray that you move in the circumstances, Lord. We pray that you touch their hearts, touch their minds. Give them a blessing, Lord. Bless their health, their wealth, their well-being. Lord, and even strengthen their marriages, Father. Whatever this need is, we pray that you move for them right now in the name of Jesus. And Kara has called in for the restoration of her marriage. Many people went into COVID with their marriage on the rocks and having to be home with each other all the time. It just got worse. But listen, we're praying for marriages. We don't know what happened here, but we know that God can restore. So Lord, we pray right now that you move in the name of Jesus. Touch her right now. Touch them. Reach down to the heart. Rekindle the love for her marriage right now, Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, and we give you praise for it. Keep those calls coming. We want to continue to pray for you, Tom. Amen. Thank you. And I just want to take a moment uh, before we go to pray for everybody watching right now, whether you've submitted a prayer request or, or not, and God knows what's on your heart. He knows your uh, need, and, and, and just for all these prayer requests that have come in, even the ones we haven't had the time uh, to mention on on here, maybe pray for you specifically. God knows your need. He knows uh, what's going on. He's there for you. He loves you. And so let's just all pray together. Father God, we thank you for being a good God. We thank you that even when things aren't going our way, even though uh, we may struggle, even though we may face trials in our life, Father God, we know that you're there with us. And so we just ask that you would help to strengthen our faith, help us to continue to keep our trust in you, continue to look towards you. And Father God, for everyone that is watching, everyone that is called in, you know their needs. We know that you love them. And so we're coming into agreement right now that nothing is too big for you. Nothing is out of your control. Nothing is beyond what you are able to do. And so Father God, whether you can use Use these situations to uh, build us up, to uh, make us stronger, to help us, uh, to help others through what we're going through, or whether you can remove these things in a miraculous way. Father God, we just ask that you be with every viewer. Bless them. Send your spirit to give them a sense of peace, a sense of comfort as they wa walk through this together, as they move through this need in this time right now. And Father God, bless them. Give them what they desire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And thank you so much for joining with us. Thank you for praying with us. We're getting ready to finish right now, but I want to encourage you. Stay tuned here to TCT for some more great programming. We'll be back next week with more Prayer on Purpose. God bless you. Bye.